So, found yourself in a new partnership, or you've strengthened existing bonds that you are now ready to take forward into a new direction. You finally awaken to the reality that two or more is at times better than one, and you have extra resources and extra power at your disposal with these other people. But then it dawns on you, there's certain things that you used to do when you were by yourself that you can no longer do in the context of this partnership without looking like, well, a complete douche. Which leads us to a very important question. How can I work with these partnerships? How can I make sure that I'm even in the right partnerships? And most importantly, how do we make these partnerships last? The language of relationships is commitment. And commitment is what you will be tested on as the sun finishes up in Libra this week. Each and every single day of this transit will show you how you being who you are reflects your level of commitment within partnerships. Commitment sounds great in theory, but in reality, it's a whole different beast. You have to be 100% honest with yourself and make sure that what or who you commit to is what you really want to commit to and not out of a sense of obligation to commit to. So in order to stay committed, you're going to have to speak the language of commitment. And that is consistency. We're going to have Venus, Mars, and Jupiter all together in Virgo. This is something that we're not going to experience at least for another 12 years. Really, really, really big stuff. This conjunction that we're going to have in the hardworking practical sign of Virgo is going to develop your lifestyle so that your routine is consistent and integrates well in the partnerships that you will be committing to. All this energy lumped in together creates perfect opportunities for creative expansion, making sure the passion you lead with, the love and beauty you lead with is actually tied into your beliefs. So it automatically becomes bigger than you. And it's about the higher, bigger picture in your life. Basically, your perception of reality is going to be heavily influenced by the work that you do in your lifestyle to promote a new sense of beauty and passion in your life. Even though you're going to have a lot of great opportunities to take advantage of, you still could get misled with this opposition that this Virgo energy will have to Neptune and Chiron and Pisces. Anything that's too good to be true and anything that you cannot prove with real facts, you kind of want to just leave out there and not let distract you. Because while you are defining this lifestyle, there will be so many distractions. With the Venus opposition to Pisces, you might find the love of your life and everything is just way too good to be true. Chances are it is too good to be true and you shouldn't compromise what you're already doing for it. With the Mars opposition, you may find an opportunity to take action on that is way too good to be true. And if you're offered everything you ever wanted, you want to make sure the facts back it up or you may be wasting your time. And finally, with the Jupiter opposition, you may be offered all the bacon in the world in order for you to sell your soul. And if you do, well, it's never really bad to sell yourself for bacon, so. The best thing about this conjunction is that it makes a trine to Pluto and Capricorn, providing you with enough determination and ambition to really see through these endeavors that you're going to take, all right? Normally with transits like these, people have changes in their work schedule, people come up with new enterprising ideas, for a lot of you watching this, your financial situation is going to break through like never before. Remember, this is something that only happens once in every 12 years, maybe. Finally, with Mercury moving forward and direct again, you will understand these new partnerships or existing ones in brand new ways that take into account everything you've reviewed over the past two weeks. 
as it squares Pluto this week, you will be forced to compromise on certain issues that will be unavoidable. Basically, this square to Pluto Mercury makes will test very well if the commitments you are making are worth compromising for. Some relationships will dismantle because you find out the compromise isn't worth it, while others will break through to the next level because you realize the compromise is worth it. You're beautiful, you're special, you're unique, and your time is valuable. Don't waste it on partnerships that you're not willing to commit to fully or be consistent in. Have a great week.